So I'm just navigating back to the index page. Okay, um, so we're going, in this tutorial, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a game, just to have some fun, because fun is what we're trying to have here. Unless you're doing this for school, then you must suffer a lot. No, I'm just joking. So we're going to use our PHP tag, because we're going to be using PHP. And we're going to actually use a special kind of, uh, I'll show you what I mean. But basically what you want to do is you want to start a PHP tag before the HTML tag. And inside you want to say session start. And that's all you have to do. What this allows you to do is ha have a special array that PHP has and set values inside that array that say you go to another page, you can still access this value even though you haven't sent it with the get method or the post method. So this is a very, very useful. So we're going to use a mixture of this and the session stuff and the get. And you'll see what the session is as we go along. So as long as you have a session start before you send any text to the user, it will work. So you did the session start down here, not, and you already sent them the HTML tag, it would not work. So you can't do that. You have to do it before you send anything. Hence why we have the PHP tag up here. So, first thing we'll, we're going to do a kind of like a guess and check, and it's going to pick a random number between 1 and 100, and you can guess a number and it'll tell you if it's higher or lower. So, this is very useful. We're going to be using arrays and all sorts of fun stuff. It's kind of like a review for what we've done. We're going to have a function higher or lower, we're going to have a few functions. And, why don't we just jump right into it? Okay, first things first is if. Um, we're not playing a game right now. We're going to say we have to check if the game's already started. If not, we want to start a game. So, and explain the rules. So, if it's not started, since this will. Sorry, if it's set, it has to be set. Nah. So if it's not set, that's what that exclamation mark is. This variable inside this special array uh, game, then we want to initialize the game, or like start up the game. Otherwise, we'll just continue running it. Okay, so. First things first, we want to explain the rules. So if there's no game running, we want to explain the rules. So let's print out some data. Uh, let's say, um, enter a number and try to guess the number that the computer is thinking of. Let's say that. Then we'll have a link, which is another HTML tag, where it links to. We want index.php. And then we want game start or game equals start. So you can see we're using the get method to send data. We're doing it through a link. So start. So if we haven't started the game yet, we want this to run. Now this creates a problem. When this when we click this link, it's going to send get data to this. So dollar under uh, underscore G E T but we're checking for the session. So if the game starts, we want to start this we want to set the session game to on. So if we don't want to check if it's set, we just want to know if it's equal to this. Or sorry, game is equal to start. Because if it's not set, it will be equal to nothing. So it won't be equal to start. So, you can also do is set would probably work, but I'm going to do it this way. It works. So, if this is, then we want to start the game up. Uh, sorry, equals true. And we actually want to see if it's false. Oh no, we don't. So, if it is, isn't set, else, whatever. 
So actually, we want to say if this isn't set or it's false. So the way you do an or statement, so if this or this is true, then do this, is with a that. Use that this thing. This character right here. It's just above your enter key. You shift click it. It's kind of like shift backslash, I think. So that's how you do an or key. And you say, we want to check if it's false. Oops, sorry. It's my bad. So if either this condition is true or this condition is true, it's going to run the code in here. So since it's now going to be true, you can also deset the session if you want to, but we will do that. I'll show you later. So basically what we have now is if the game's not running, we're going to display a link to the user to start the game. When you click that link, it's going to refresh this page. It's going to go, okay, we have data for the game, and it is start. So set the game running to true. That's basically what this is doing. And since the game is running, it's going to jump to the else statement. It's going to run whatever code we have in here. So we need to start this up. So the first thing we need to do is see if we have a random number set. And the way we do that is if uh, we'll have it again in the session. We'll call it rand. Uh, we need to check if it's set. So, so if we've already set a random number, we don't have to do anything. But if we haven't, we do. So we're actually going to say if this isn't set, then we're going to set this to the random number function that we've used earlier. And we want to set between 1 and 100. Okay, so what that's going to do is basically give us a random number if we don't have one already. So we're going to say we're going to have that input, or we want a form here for the user to use. And so we want echo a form that allows them to enter a number that they want to guess. So the way we do this is we want to echo this out. We'll use single quotation so that because we're going to be using double quotation inside the echo statement. Let's give it a break line. Which I should probably do the same up here. Okay. And create another form. And it's going to be sending to the same page that we're doing it on. And we're going to send it with post. Because I, I prefer post. You, know, you can send it with get. It will work just the same. Just remember to change all the post stuff to get. And we're going to say number. is what we're checking for. And it's going to be an input. It's going to be a text input. And its name is going to be number. And then now we need to be able to submit this. So let's do a break line tag to, break, to make a new line and say uh, input the submit button. And it's going to say yes. Okay. So we want to echo that out every time. So actually, we should. Yeah, so that's what we're going to have now. And I'm going to show you what we have now. Of course, it's not actually a game yet. So, and I made an error. I forgot semicolons. You know, never don't forget them. It's just a pain. That's a glitch with Firefox. There we go. So, let's say enter a number and try and guess the number that the computer is thinking of. Because we don't have a session yet. See what the session does in a second. Start. Okay, so when we ran this, when we click this, index.php game equals start, it will it sent get data to us. And we checked if this get data was equal to what we sent here if we press start. And since it was, we set the session game to true. Now session variable session array 
When you load a new page, your session is still there as long as you have session start on it. So I could I could navigate between four different pages and then um, let's say I had this sub value in session set on the second page. If I go to a fifth page, that same sub that same value is still there. I can still access it, I can still read it, I can still write to it, I can still do all that kind of stuff. So that's what the sessions is if you want to do multiple pages that it's good if you have a login system for instance. So I'll show you a login system. And Google is a great example of this. So you can see I'm logged in already. So I, right now I have a session. Um, Google has me in a session. So if I go and navigate to another page, you can still see that I'm logged in. And it's because in its it has a session for me saying, oh this user is blank. And so that's basically what the session does. And you can see uh, it's letting me drag, so I don't even know what that is, but that that's what a session is. It allows you to have the same variable carry across multiple pages. So basically what we're doing is we're saying that to the game is on. Well that sounded awesome, I have to say. Um let's go back to our page. So the game is on, so now it's going to output this form. Now we could enter a number in here and it will just re output, but since we don't have any other code, it's not going to do anything. So in the next tutorial, we're going to see if we're going to say if it's lower, greater than, or if the number is equal to, and we're going to have a win and whatnot. If they win and not. So see you then.